What if there was something you could do as a Christian that would change everything? So today we're talking about how to change everything. We're talking about prayer. And to be honest, we've probably all struggled with prayer at some point in time or another. The delay, sometimes prayers don't aren't answered in the way that we think they should be. And so how can we move past those that struggle with prayer into struggling in prayer? Well, by struggling in prayer, we struggle, we get past ourselves, we lay hold of the throne room of God, we begin to see how God is working in our world and in our lives. And we're going to learn this from a guy named Elijah. In James 5, the Bible says, Elijah was a human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. And then when he prayed again, the sky sent down rain and earth began to yield its crops. So in our story today that we're looking over and the the message, the full sermon that will be available um, after this is shared, uh, is that Elijah went and prayed. He's about to reveal all the evil of Israel. He's about to show that how the, the evil is what's causing the problem. The worship of not God is what's causing the problem. He's about to reveal the weakness of false gods. So how did Elijah pray? What did he do different? What could we learn from that? Well, let's start with Elijah's initial request. Elijah said to Ahab, go get something to eat and drink, for I hear a mighty rainstorm coming. So Ahab went to eat and drink. But Elijah climbed to the top of Mount Carmel and bowed low to the ground and prayed with his face between his knees. You know, one of the reasons we struggle in prayer is pride. We are trying to be our own answer. We're trying to find some way to solve our problem. And Elijah knew that what he needed from God was way too big for his resources, way outside of his own power. So he bowed before the Lord. And it's interesting that James, when he's talking about Elijah and teaching us about prayer, that he starts with confession of sin. Because of our confession of sin, Christ makes us righteous and puts us in a place where we can get some big answers to prayer. So we start with humility. James says in chapter 4 and verse 10 of the same book, he says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. You are not your own God. You have a God and you need a God. Never forget that. So humility is where we begin in prayer. Then he said to a servant, go and look toward the sea. And the servant went and looked and then returned to Elijah and said, I don't see anything. The next thing I want you to see is that Elijah had clarity. The reason he started praying in the first place was because God told him what to pray for and God strengthened him to pray for it. And so now this day he knows God wanted to send the drought, so he prayed and the drought came, and now he knows that God wants to send the rain. So he's praying for God to bring the rain. And so he knows what God wants in heaven, and so he's gonna bring that to earth. Kind of reminds you of the Lord's Prayer where Jesus taught us in Matthew, may your kingdom come soon, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. First question to ask is, what does God want? And then begin to pray for the things that God wants in our life. So we start with humility. We move into clarity. Then Elijah de- prayed this prayer seven times. Now the Bible says in uh, seven times Elijah told him to go and look. Finally, the seventh time the servant told him, I saw a little cloud about the size of a man's hand rising from the sea. Now it's interesting that in the text before, when he prays for God to answer by fire or, or yeah, from heaven, that God does so instantly. God wanted to bring the fire and God wanted to bring the rain, but in the rain situation, it requires persistence. You know, Jesus understood this. He said in Matthew 7, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. Sometimes prayers are delayed and they're delayed for a lot of reasons. Sometimes there's a spiritual battle going on. Sometimes some things have to change in us and sometimes it just has to do with God's timing. So we have to learn to persevere. Humility perseverance, clarity. Elijah shouted, hurry to Ahab and tell him, climb in your chariot and go back home. If you don't hurry, the rain will stop you. As soon as Elijah saw that cloud that was the size of a man's hand, he knew what God was going to do. He expected the answer. He was just looking for God's confirmation that the answer was coming now. And that's how we should pray, with confidence, expecting God to answer, and then looking for confirmation that we can celebrate and praise him for in every possible way. So ask yourself, what do you expect God to do? Humility, uh, clarity, expectation, perseverance. These are the kind of things that can change everything.